So I think one of the things that this reporting is uncovering is that they understand a lot about ways in which their systems and their platforms can be harmful, but they have a really hard time sort of turning that ship in any meaningful fashion. So the cross-check thing, as you noted, um, they realized a few years back that it was completely indefensible to be um, uh, to be treating certain users, exempting certain users from pretty much all of their enforcement. But they weren't able to do anything about it. They're still working on this problem two years later. And uh, that's something I think that's pretty meaningful. The same thing with the teen mental health stuff is that particularly for teenage girls, uh, they found that this stuff could make, I believe the phrase was, we make body image issues worse in one in three teen girls. Uh, and in some instances, this could have potentially life-threatening effects. They actually found that some users, about 6%, 6 6-7% in the, in the United States, who had reported, um, so users who had reported feeling um, like they had the urge to harm, them, harm themselves, those people were tracing it directly back to Instagram, um, which is, I think, a pretty remarkable thing and shows the weight of this platform, right? This isn't just games or silly social media stuff. But at the same time, I think it's pretty hard for them to fix this. Yeah, we've certainly seen time and time again that Facebook and Instagram are powerful platforms. Just a couple of minutes ago, Senator Markey and, and another bipartisan group called on Instagram to abandon its plans for Instagram kids. I'm wondering what you make of that. And also um, this idea that it's not in Facebook and Instagram's best interest to do such damage to their users that they, they would want to change that. There's a pretty long history in American business of companies that come to the unfortunate realization that their products aren't healthy, whether those are chemicals or foods. Um, and, you know, I think sometimes the interesting thing is sometimes they're able to make those situations better. Um, they can work to find healthier options. Uh, other times, though, it's just that the thing isn't healthy. And I think there's a question right now with Instagram. Uh, I mean, Adam Mosseri is, um, I think, very much in good faith. Instagram is trying to figure out how it can address the mental health issue for teenage users in particular. Um, but you know, as he's a key acknowledged there's no silver bullet. And some of these things may be sort of built into the system at a fairly deep level. So I, I don't know that that's necessarily, you know, just because it's something that's bad for the users doesn't mean it's automatically destined to go away.